hopefully we hit our stride and have some more dry days in the mix mm -hmm. by then. It looks like next week we'll kind of start that trend to getting toward uh, warmer weather and drier weather. Right now outside it's chilly. Here's a live look above the steel bridge. Kind of uh, broken up clouds there and that's what's allowed our temperatures to drop overnight. Uh, the clouds kind of act like a blanket and keep the heat of yesterday in and now that we don't have many things have cooled down. It's 45 degrees at the airport. Some spots around the metro have dropped down into the 30s. So grab a nice warm jacket, preferably something with a hood because chances are you'll see a few showers throughout the day today. Right now, not a lot going on along I-5. Most of us are dry, but we do have scattered showers out toward Manzanita and Tillamook down toward Lincoln City and Pacific City. And in the Cascades above 3,000 feet, there's snow coming down. So you can see the jet stream still aimed at us. We'll be in and out of the showers today, but then the jet stream lifts north tomorrow and we are drying out. Pattern shift headed our way. We're dry both Friday and Saturday with temperatures warming into the mid 60s by Saturday. Saturday looks like a great day. Make your outdoor plans now. Here's 11 o'clock this morning. You'll notice those showers increasing in the Willamette Valley by then. Partly cloudy conditions east of the Cascades. Now as we head toward the evening hours, you'll notice we're starting to dry out along the coast at 530. Mainly dry conditions along the I-5 corridor. Still some showers in the Cascades and points east, but overnight all of us dry out. And tomorrow morning, the west side of the state wakes up to plenty of cloud coverage. That's 9 o'clock in the morning. East side of the state, mostly sunny skies right out of the gate on Friday. And those clouds break up west by afternoon. So tomorrow, a partly sunny afternoon. More sunshine on Saturday. This is 9 in the morning. Maybe some areas of fog along the I-5 corridor. But we'll bask in sunshine in the afternoon. And then Saturday night, those clouds start to thicken up. And a few showers roll on shore early Sunday. Today, out along the coast, a mix of showers and sun breaks. We're drying out tonight. Should be a pretty nice evening along the coast. So if you're visiting the coast, watch the sunset tonight. Should be a great one. Temperatures in the low 50s at the beach today. I-5 corridor in the mid 50s. Tomorrow we'll finally jump into the low 60s once again with wet weather at times and occasional sun breaks. East of the Cascades, partly cloudy and breezy. That westerly wind 15 to 25 miles per hour with a few showers, especially this afternoon and later on tonight. Showers and sun breaks through the gorge. So wet at times as you're driving along I-84 with breezy conditions between Hood River and the Dalles. Another one to four inches possible above 3,000 feet. That's on top of a lot of fresh snow yesterday. I'll have your ski report coming up in the next half hour. Tomorrow's high 60 with partly sunny conditions. A nice day Saturday, mostly sunny. Morning showers on Sunday, but check out next week. We're dry Monday, the first day of May. Few passing showers on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, 73 degrees. Wednesday will be the warmest day of the year so far. Ken's been asking when we're going to hit the 70s, and I think you've got your answer there. On Wednesday. I'm yeah. looking forward to Wednesday. And don't call in sick. No, I won't. Okay. No. Well, we'd miss you. But I we would. go outside a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're wise. off at 12:30, so that's good. Yeah. yeah all, right. all afternoon, you can yeah. sit on a patio and have a nice cold adult beverage. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs>